Hey everyone, welcome back for another episode of Quintessential Commander. My name is Esben. Today we have Gabriel, Paul, Hajiru. Yeah, that's Hazim. We found him in the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. And we're playing the pre today. Something in a cave somewhere. <laughs> I don't know his how own I business. got here. Yes. Help. Yes. Help. So, Lost Caverns of Ixalan. And we've upgraded all four pre -cons. Big thanks to Wizards, as usual, for providing us these pre to play with. And, disclaimer, I upgraded all the decks. <gasps> so, <laughs> so, only I know what's actually in all these lists. So the decks have been downgraded then. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> and honestly, these were some of the hardest precons I've ever had to upgrade because the quality of the precons were already very high. Yes, mm. they're quite strong. Yeah. So to decide who picks which deck, we're going to randomize it. We have all the four commanders here that I'm going to shuffle around very vaguely. And whichever one ends up in your spot is yours. Okay, so let's go. I will be playing... Hakbao of the Surging Soul. Ooh. Fish. Yes, Merfolk. Fish. What does it do? It explores. I am playing... Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Panzer Lazar, the sun favorite. I am very favored. Nice. Mm, I will discover dinosaurs. Oh no, that's scary. I got Admiral Beckett Brass. Unsinkable. Uh, hey, Admiral Brass, yeah, unsinkable. Brass. Perfect, I'm gonna go find the One Piece. Yes, yes, you are. Rebel yes. in riches. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that leaves me with Clevileno, first <laughs> of the blessed. So vampires who become which become demonic vampires oh. in a church. Mm. Fantastic. Nice. <laughs> demonic <laughs> church. Demonic <laughs> church. And after this, the winner will get to pick the next deck that they play. Uh, then we're gonna film another episode for members. So if you wanna check out the next game, go support us. Be a YouTube member. YouTube members get a bunch of perks. We actually have new deck boxes coming out soon for Christmas and members will be the first to be notified about those. So it helps us a lot and you get extra content. Why not support us? Also a big shout out to Game Saven where we film this, where we get most of the cards from and a big shout out to Black Magic Design for loaning us these cameras that we film with. And a big shout out to you for watching this episode. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching us play. I like to be watched when I play. Let's see who starts first. High roll. Ooh, Ooh let's, see, let's, see. let's go. Beginner's luck. All right, draw. I'll play a land and I'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. A Bajuka Bog, it comes in tapped. I will Bog Hazim. No, my graveyard. <laughs> All right, I'll say go. All right, I will draw. Forest and pass. All right, draw. Play a tapped Temple Garden. Yep. Go ahead. All right, during your end step, ooh. I'll flash in a Spectral oh, Sailor! Wow. Wow. Turn one place! Turn one place! Let's go! Untap, draw, another land. I'll tap it to play a Soul Ring. Ooh. And with 3 mana... Go to combat! Go to combat! Gabriel set to attack Esmond, so... No. <laughs> Very one. good! Yes, you... I'll take one. Uh, yeah. Then Thank I pass the turn. Okay, draw for turn. A Swamp. I will tap 2 mana to play an Orzhov Signet. Oh, nice. Ooh, and I will say go. I'll draw. I will play Hinterland Harbor, comes in untapped. Tap 2, and I'll play a Deep Root Elite, Ooh. a Merfolk Warrior. So whenever another fish ETB is under my control, I can put a plus 1 counter on target Merfolk I control. Oh wow. Say right. And draw. Oh, that's all so good. Shock in a Stomping Ground. Oof. Oof. And I will play a Rampant Growth. Oof. Damn, he's rampant. I find a forest and he enters tap and I pass. Draw. Got my colors. Nice. I'll play Smoldering Marsh. It comes in untapped since I control two or more uh, non basic uh, basic lands. Yes. English, good. <laughs> I will proceed to attack fall for one because you bogged my graveyard. Fair, fair. <laughs> this is fair. Yep. And with that, I will pass the turn. Right. I will untap. I will draw for turn. Planes. Mm hmm. I will first cast Charismatic Conqueror. It is a 2-2 bear with Vigilance. It says um, whenever an artifact or creature enters the battlefield untapped under a opponent's control, you may tap that permanent. If you choose not to tap the permanent, I get a vampire. So the controller of the artifact gets yes, to decide. Yes, gets to decide. Either we tap it or you get a vampire. Right, that's right. So that's the choice. And the other two mana that I have, I will cast the common Martyr of Dusk, 2-1 creature, when it dies, make a vampire token wow. with lifelink. Here we see the difference between rares and commons. Mm. 
All right, pretty good. My turn. Untap. We just saw that we've... I'll play a Dream Root Cascade, All which right. enters Untap, and then I will send one damage at Gabriel. Take one. <laughs> All right, is it my turn? <laughs> yes, it's your turn. Untap. Come on, give me a land. Len! Oh yeah, it's a freaking tap Len. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I play a tap in Jet Mir's Garden. Alright. I will tap 3 to play a Topiary Stomper oh, to find more right. lands. In response, I'm just going to draw a card. <laughs> pay for a draw a card, yep. Okay, draw a card then. Ooh, Topiary Stomper enters the battlefield. I find a basic land and enters tapped. Um, Mountain enters tapped. And I will pass. Draw. I'll play a land for the turn. Okay, so I'll just pay for mana. I'll play Merchant Rider. When him or another pirate enters the battlefield, I get to tap stuff down. Now. Yeah, and they don't untap until he leaves. Um, yeah, until he leaves. Yes. So what do you tap? I will choose to tap down the thing that taps things down. Okay. So <laughs> okay, uh, when you when the creature enters the battlefield, and also when Topiary Stomp enters the battlefield, actually, you can choose whether to keep, to have it tap. Oh, it's creature or yeah, creature oh, or artifact. Creature or artifact. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I missed the trigger just now. So mm. would you like your stuff to come in tapped? Yeah, okay. Sure. Okay, okay. So to clarify. Yeah. Your creatures are tapped from yeah. the vampire. From the vampire, yeah. Yours is tapped until the raiders The raiders leaves the vampire. Okay. Yes, that's sure. Too complicated. Yeah. Magic. Yep. All right, because you just tapped me down, I'm just going to swing you for another one. Right, this is sure. Yeah, and with that, I'll just pass the turn. All right. Leaving two mana up. I will draw for turn. Tainted field. Mm. I will now tap three mana in order to cast my commander Glavileno, first of the blessed. Mm -hmm. Blessed by demons most likely. Mm -hmm. For smacking me twice, Hazim, Ouch. I will take vengeance. Master of Dusk will swing at you, Hazim. It is a 2-1 creature. Calvin Leno will trigger. The attacking vampire, which isn't a demon, is now a demon in addition to its other types. Yes. And when it dies, it grows, becomes more powerful than you can ever imagine. So when he dies, he creates two tokens. Yes. All right, in response, I am said I'll take two. I will say go. The roll. I will play an island. I will tap two, and I'll play a Merfolk Mist Binder. Oh. It gives my other Merfolk plus one plus one. Mm -hmm. So, when your ends, vampire will trigger. And Deep Red Elite will also trigger. Yes, so I will tap down the Mistbinder. Sure. I'll put a plus one counter on my Elite. Alright. Mm -hmm. And it's now a 3 3. I'll go to combat. Gabriel! Three, ah, the great, great choice! <laughs> the, the guy with the most lands. <laughs> and I'll pass. Untap. You draw. Oh, enters. Untap. My Canopy Vista. Ooh. And then I'll just cast my. <laughs> Does it enter tapped? Yes. <laughs> Does it enter tapped? Do you want to tap it down? Yes. Do you want to tap it down? Uh, nah. What? Yeah, uh, Paul, yeah, you can uh, make a value. Wow. Free value. <laughs> then okay, then discover. discover X, which is the toughness, which is four. Okay, so for those who don't know what discover is, it's revealing cards from the top of the library until you have mana value. What, less than the toughness of this creature? Uh, four or less. Yeah, so four or less. And then you can either cast it for free or put it into your hand. Yes. Non-land card. Non-land card, let's go. One. <laughs> Dali. Two. Oh my gosh. I get a Raging Regisaur. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And now you can cast it or put it in your hand. I'll cast the Raging Regisaur. Okay. Ooh, okay. So you cast it, it enters the battlefield. As it enters the battlefield, Charismatic <laughs> Conqueror will trigger. <laughs> You can have it! <laughs> I can have it. The dinosaurs are not scared of beauty vampires. <laughs> Another vampire. Um, and that is my turn. Alright, then during your end step, again, I'll flash in Malcolm, the alluring scoundrel. Wow. When it deals damage, uh, deal combat damage to a player, I may put a counter on it. And then when I do that, I draw a card and discard a card. And if there is four or more chorus counters on him, I may cast the discarded card without paying the mana cost. Then it just enters the battlefield that because of your yep. sure. thing. Conqueror. And sure. because of my merchant raiders, I'm going to <laughs> tap, <laughs> tap this down, whatever. <laughs> Paul, I'm going to tap down one of your vampire tokens. Uh. Okay, sure. Let's tap down. What? Me has reasons. Okay. Upkeep, draw. One. I'll play a time stream navigator. Okay. Uh, it has a send and I may pay 4 mana, put it on the bottom of my deck, take an extra turn. I can only activate it if I have City's Blessing, which is if I ascend it. Yeah. Right. So you're one permanent one away. Yeah. Then with that, 
when it enters the battlefield, I will tap down another vampire. Oh. Okay. Okay. Wow. The the remaining four mana, I'll play Admiral Beckett Brass. Oh, no, no, other no. pirates. <laughs> Other pirates I control get plus one plus one, and at the beginning of my end step, I gain control of target non land permanent controlled by a player that was dealt by uh, combat damage by three or more pirates I control this turn. Okay. So the captains here are uh, right. the admirals, and when he enters the battlefield, tap because of your thing. Yeah. But I will tap down your. Oh no, he's gonna gain control of his <laughs> pirate make it. Don't get off my. I'll tap down your commander. All right. Yep. Then I move to combat. Yep. I will swing these three at Paul. Okay, so I will I take eight. Yeah, eight yeah. damage. Yep. Knock him triggers. So when he deals combat damage, I put a chorus counter on it. I draw a card and discard a card. Draw a card and I'll discard Dire Fleet Daredevil. Yep. And I move to my end step. Yep. Why if I get the the guy that taps things down? Yep, sure. Yes, there you yeah. go. Thank you. Okay, let's kill Hazim. Yep, pass. Yep. Hazim has ascended. He can take extra turn the next turn. Ooh, yes, yes he can. <laughs> yes I can. Thank you. I will draw for turn. So I will play an unclaimed territory. Then I will move to combat. Mm -hmm. For right. swinging at me for 8 Hazim, which all, all your tech creatures. Yep. I will swing at you for 2. Yep. Understandable, I'll take 2. Yep. <laughs> Have a nice day. I will tap my unclaimed territory to pay into my Ozob Signet. And then I'll tap oh for a white and a black. Mm -hmm. And I will overload Dan. Ooh. Damn. Damn. Shit. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about this. Um, yeah, okay. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets a 4 tree. Oh, yeah. I will make a 1 1 vampire from the, Martyr. the Martyr's ability. Mm -hmm. And I will also get the upgraded 4 3 vampire, four three vampire mm -hmm. guy. And you draw a card. And I draw a card. Pretty good. So since I have the mana left over, I will tap two mana to cast Gift of Estates. Ah. Ooh. So Gabriel has more lands than me. <laughs> I will search my library for up to three planes and put them into my hand and then shuffle my library. So I will find the Godless Shrine and two planes. All of them have the planes up tight. Yep. So they will all come into my hand. And now I have six cards in hand. Yay, untap. Oh, I still have now. Draw. Yes, feels good. I'm just gonna tap four and play Hakbao of the Surging Soul. Mm -hmm. And I move straight to combat and he will trigger. Each Morpho creature I control explores. So, explores means review the top card. If it's a land, it goes to my hand. Yeah. If it's not, I can put it on top or graveyard. Huh. It's not a land. It's not a land. <laughs> it goes to the graveyard. <laughs> yeah, I don't need this now. I'll yeah. just graveyard and gets a plus one counter. Yeah. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, land for turn Waterlock Grove. Say go. Untap. Give me a land. It's a land. Play a forest. <laughs> I'll play an arcane signet. I'll tap three to play a at Zoken Seer. I remember that. That's a good card. Mm. Mm. Go ahead, Hazim. I'll keep draw. For two, I'll play an arcane signet. Then for five, I'll cast out my commander. Admiral Brass unsinkable. Okay, when she ETVs, I'll just mill four. And at the beginning of combat, I basically rest a. Uh, Pirate and he comes back as a 4 4 with his. Go for 1, 2, Pirate, 3, Pirate, 4. Pirate! Ooh. Oh, they were great. 3 hits. Yeah, so I move to combat, triggering Admiral Beckett Brass. Uh, Admiral Brass unsinkable. <laughs> I'll bring back Port Razor with a finality counter. I'll attack Esmond with the Port Razor. You're sending a 4 4 into my 4 4? Yeah. It's worth it. Right, it's worth it, right? It's worth it. Your commander doesn't do anything right now. Very I mean, he can take 4 and he gets extra combat. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like I like combat, so uh, I'll take four. Alright. One, two, three, four. Thank you. Then when Port Razor deals combat damage to a player, yeah, he... there's an additional combat yeah, phase. Yeah, you block. <laughs> you should block. <laughs> because, because I'm taking the least amount of damage, you guys are taking more. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Happens, untap Port Razor. Yes, you get another yeah. combat phase. Yeah, move to combat. So, Admiral Brass triggers again. Yeah, Admiral Brass triggers again. <laughs> oh, another Admiral Brass. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I will bring back the Merchant <laughs> Raiders. When it enters the battlefield, I'll tap down the uh, Azokan Sia. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, combat again. This time, Gabriel, I'll be attacking you for 8. Alright, take 8. Triggering for Razor. Untap. <laughs> 
Move to combat again. <laughs> yeah, I'll just get the Dead Eye Brawler because I don't have that much cards in my hand. It has Death Touch and when it deals damage to a player, I just draw a card. Merchant Raiders triggers, I'll tap down the Vampire Demon. Okay, sure. And then Paul, that's uh, 12. 12. I, will s I will block Dead Eye Brawler. Alright, then you will take it. Yeah, and I'll gain one because it has Life Link, so I'll take seven. seven. Okay, one more combat. Paul Razor okay. triggers. Yep. Alright, Esmond. <laughs> <laughs> you see what you have done? It comes back at you! I'm gonna take the least damage! He's gonna tap this down and you can't do anything anymore! Oh no! It's like Emerald back at Oh back. no! Tapping down. <laughs> okay. Yep, so I'll tap down. Hug bow. Hug bow. I can't tell hard though. S1. I'll be attacking you for... That's a 5-5, five five, a 5-5, five five, and a 4-4. Four four. 14. <laughs> I, I am sorry, guys. This is your own fault. I did not foresee this. Then I'll move to the end set, triggering Admiral Beckett Brass. Yep. Mind if I get a uh, hug bow? I do mind. I will slowly gain everyone's commanders. You will. <laughs> Pass the turn. Yeah. I will draw for turn. Hmm... What should I do? What? Wipe the board! I'll play a planes. Let's go, Paul. I will tap 7. <laughs> the Meat Hook Massacre. Oh! 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 X equals to ah, Alright! In response, I will sack my seer. Yes. The wing wreck Topiary Stomper. Okay, so all creatures die. Yeah. Yep. So one creature from Paul. Yeah. So each of us will lose one life. Yeah, that's right. And then six from Hazim. Yeah. Yep. So Paul gains six. Okay. Uh, pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. You kind of undid the damage he did. I'm trying. Yeah. I'm trying hard. Okay. Unlike some people. <laughs> Esprin is like, I'm watching, I'm watching my decks go off. <laughs> I don't block. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> I take the least amount of damage. <laughs> That was part of the plan! <laughs> Are you done? Yes, I am done. Okay, my turn. I will attack. I'll draw a land. I'll play a land. I guess I will bring out my commander again. Alright. For six. Uh, then go to combat. It will trigger. I will explore. Ooh, Emperor Mikhail. Oh, it's a pretty good one. I will leave that on top. Get a plus one counter on Hakbal and Sego. Untap! And draw. I'll play at three visits. Ooh. More rem, more rem. Forest. Can't seem untapped. And then I will cast my commander. Tad Laza. Alright, discover. <laughs> Miss within! Ooh. Ooh. You don't have to cast it yet. Yeah, might as well. Alright, as when you get a beast. Which land are you blowing up? Uh your commander land. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? Okay, I get a three shoot. There we go. Alright, uh Hazim, go ahead. Draw. I'm getting my lands, yay. Play a swamp for the turn. Phase 7 to recast my commander. Admiral Brass Unsinkable. When it enters the battlefield, I will fall again. Yeah. 1, oh no. 2, oh no. 3, 4. Okay, wow. The Renegade's pretty good. Oh, those are all pretty good. I move to combat. I'll bring Zara. Okay. Flying. Wait, when she attacks, Look at the defending player's hand, and I may put a creature card from it onto the battlefield under my control tab. So he just gets it for that combat. Yeah. Yep. Okay, the question is, who has the best hand? There you go, I have a very good hand. Yep, sorry Gabriel. When it attacks, so I no. look at your hand. Yeah, okay, only he can. Yeah, only he looks. Yeah. Alright. My hand's pretty good. Ooh, thank you. Thank you for letting me have an Itali primal no! conqueror. Oh <laughs> my god! No! <laughs> no, but it doesn't trigger. It does, ETV yeah, trigger. Yeah, ETV. When it enters the battlefield, uh, everyone like exiles until they exile a non-land and I may cast them for free. Alright. Windfall. Cruel celebrate. Alright, mine is Emperor Mikhail. Okay, mine is a uh, regal. Oh my gosh. Gabriel! <laughs> it's your deck. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so I just bring all of them into my field. And windfall. But but you might have a merfolk on top, you can cast it first. Okay. Oh, true, true, true. <laughs> oh yeah, true, true, true. Let me check, let me check. Indeed. Okay, who has the most cards? Yeah. That's the most cards. I have four, five cards. Five I have cards. Three. Three. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Come on. Come the cell. Yeah, yeah, come the cell. I smell. stepped out. <laughs> ah, genius. <laughs> okay, so we all discard and draw five. Yep. 
Uh, let, let's not forget, Gabriel, this, these are still attacking you. <laughs> yeah, how much is that? I can block. Yeah, that's... 11. 11. Uh, you also become the monarch from Regal Behemoth. Thanks for reminding me. Okay, then I will move to my end step. Oh, thank you. Yep. <laughs> I'll draw a card from the monarchy and you get your card back. Oh, bot wipe. <laughs> Oi! Nothing <laughs> wipe! Okay, I will play Temple of Silence. I will scry one. I guess that's fine. I'll leave it on top. Then I will tap 3 mana to cast Welcoming Vampire. Yep, card draw. Following which, I will tap 2 to cast Legion Lieutenant. Oh, okay. Legion. Lieutenant has power 2 or less as it enters the battlefield, and so Welcoming Vampire will trigger, and I will draw a card. Yep. Ooh. Pretty good, pretty good. Nice. Well, I can't attack. Yeah, I will say go. Draw. I'll play a Rejuvenating Springs. I'll tap 7. <laughs> cast a Commander again. <laughs> Oh gosh, Cyclonic Rift. Seagate Restoration. <laughs> Alright, draw cards. Useless. So I will draw 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll draw 4 plus 1. So 5 cards. And I have no max hand size for the rest of the game. Ooh. What happened, Jimmy? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, I'll pass. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> Useless. Untap and draw. Untap, draw. Okay. Cliff top retreat. Okay. Oh no, Itali is coming. All right. <laughs> I'll cast Itali. Yep. You have two triggers. Two triggers. Pent Laza burst. So Ooh. discover seven. Yes. Oh. Oh. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. You can actually kick it. All right. I'll cast territorial. Uh, sorry, I will not kick it. You will not kick it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Okay, then Itali. Itali triggers. All right, everybody. I get a Quartz Wood Crasher. <laughs> Whenever one or more creatures you control with Trample, do you combat damage? Yeah, you get Dinos. Next up. Oh, Tomb Raider. Tomb Robber. Tomb Robber. Useless. Oh. Okay. What do you mean useless? Pirates have been doing Bishop work. Bishop of Rebirth. Oh man, that's pretty good. Recursion. Oh no. Okay, so Herald, uh, Bishop, Tomb Robber, and the Crasher. Yeah, I just cast all of them. <laughs> <laughs> they don't really do much though. On the bright side, Itali is out of your hand. Four, bot wipe. <laughs> Enough! <laughs> Esmond, here you go, take four. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> you, have, you, you have committed the sin of not blocking. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Alright, um, yeah, I passed my turn. Draw. Oh shit, 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 wait, sorry. On your upkeep, on your upkeep. I will path Rigo Hit Oh, sure. Well, that makes sense. Yep, get six up. And you find a basic lane. Thank you. I'll search for a mountain because I actually need a double rate. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, draw. I'll play Sulfur Falls. Okay, so first things first. I'll play three. I'll play a Corsair Captain. Oh. When he enters the battlefield, I create a treasure. Yeah. Pumps his pirates. Yep. Two mana. I'll play Francisco Foul Marauder. He can't block, and whenever one or more pirates I control deals damage to a pleasure, uh, to to a player, he explores. Okay. Okay. Move to combat. Uh, before you come, before you come back, I will sort your brass. Oh. oh! Ooh! So, response to your sorts to plowshares. Let me just denial it, arcane D. Yep, so I tap stack the treasure for the arcane denial. Next one, where's your. I, I, I'm tapped out! Why do you tap out? Because <laughs> he's Seagate Restoration. Yeah, we established this very early on that he was very useless. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's counted. Yep. This, this is how I feel normally when I okay. watch, watch you play. No, you played what draw cards and do nothing. It's different. When I play, I just play lands because I really have nothing else to do. Yeah, so move to combat. Instead of the obvious pick, I'll be going for Time Stream Navigator. Oh no. Paul, kill it. I have enough of killing things. I'm just doing my thing now, right? Yep, these two at Esmond and this at Gabriel. Zara triggers. So may I look at your head? Yeah, I only have this. The other, well, the other two. Ooh, okay, interesting. So, I get Death Gorge Scavenger. Comes in tapped and attacking, right? Yeah, comes in tapped and attacking. And when it enters the battlefield, uh, I may exile target card from a graveyard. For mine, if I look at your graveyard. Of course. <clears throat> Alright, I will exile. Wow, Gabriel, your cards are doing so much work. Butcher of Malachia. Okay, sure. Okay, so Butcher is exiled, uh, yeah. you gain two life. Yep. 37. Yeah. Alright, you know what? My beast will block my merfolk. Alright. <laughs> Alright, my dinosaur will block my dinosaur. Alright. Okay, so damage. Your dinosaur dies. And merfolk dies. Alright. You take 4, I take 5. I'll take 4. 
And you take five. Yep. Uh, Crow Celebrant triggers. Oh yeah. So Crow Celebrant. two of your creatures die, yep. you gain two life and we all lose two life. Yep. And then also Francisco triggers. <laughs> do you explore? Yep. Yeah, explore. If you have a top card, it's a land I add it to my head. Oh, there's oh, one more trigger. Yeah. So Miho Massacre yeah, triggers. Well, 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 okay, yeah. so the creatures that died, uh, three creatures died, right? Mm -hmm. So three creatures died, I will gain three life. Yeah. Uh, I'll activate Time Stream Navigator. Okay. So I'll put it at the bottom of my deck and I take a, an extra turn after this one. So my turn again. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Untap. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Yeah. I did not make this deck. You draw two. Why did I draw two? Oh, oh Arcane oh, Denial. Oh, oh yeah. City's Blessing. Then this City. Oh, Bona. Oh, yeah. Bona. Bona. <laughs> yeah. And then Arcane Denial draw one more. Oh, yeah. And you draw two, right? You draw two. I draw two, right? Yes. Useless. Now he can see your new hand. I'll pay, I'll pay two. I'll dash in a Ragger Van. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, move to combat. Yeah. yeah. I'll bring back a pirated copy of uh, Italy. Wait, what happens on if this thing is has a finality, right? Wait. It's a 4 4 with finality. Yeah, it but it enters the battlefield as a copy of Italy, though. So is it a 4 4 or is it a 7 7? Okay, so we're not sure what Pirated Copy and Emerald Brass does, but we're just going to assume that it has a finality counter and it is a 7 7 Italy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay carry so on. It's probably correct. So when it enters the battlefield, yep, Italy away. Yep, starts with me. Yep. Wheel of Misfortune. Okay. Okay. Malakia Rebirth. Uh huh. Master of the Pole Trident. Alright. Dinosaur on a spaceship. <laughs> Other dinosaurs, you can look at plus one, plus one, vigilance and trouble. Why, where is this when I needed it? <laughs> Melchior Rebirth would have to go on. Should put it on my Admiral Beckett Brass? No, Admiral it's unsinkable brass. one. Yeah, it's really unsinkable. Then the dinosaurs on a spaceship enters. Yep. Yeah, Master of the Pole Trident also enters. Uh -huh. okay. Island walk. Yes, perfect <laughs> for all my merfolk. Okay, so Malachi Rebirth will just protect your commander basically. Yeah. Uh, you lose two life. Oh, okay. I don't activate Wheel of Misfortune. Lah. This one, it remains I exiled, right? Uh, yeah, so if you, it. you don't want to cast it, then it's exiled. Alright. Francisco and Zara will be attacking uh, Gabriel. Yep. Then pirated copy of uh, Itali and Ragavan will be attacking Esmond. And then Corsair Captain and Admiral uh, Brass Unsinkable will be attacking Paul. Very good. So Zara triggers. Zara triggers. Oh, here you go. Kinjali Sunwing. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Kinjali Sunwing. Attacking Gabriel as well. Yep. I will block Corsair Captain with Legion Lieutenant. Alright. Uh, I have no blocks. Yep, no blocks. Okay, so damage, uh, Corsair Captain and Le Lieutenant die. Yep. All right. He's two dice. Hey, you take four commander. Okay. Yep. Okay, and then I will take a bunch of damage and die. Yep, die. We die. I can block. Yep. So me and Gabriel die. Uh, you do have a Ragavan trigger. Yeah, but the Ragavan will exile, but then you won't be there. But I still get the treasure. You still get the treasure, yes. Yep. And just for fun, my top card was a deep channel mentor. Uh, Francisco triggers also, so you explore. Yep. Top card. I will... Move it into my grave and I'll give him a plus one counter. Uh, Cruel Celebrant triggers. Uh, Cruel Celebrant triggers. Uh, one of his creatures died. Yeah. So Paul loses one. And gains one. And then Miko Massacre triggers. Yeah. So you gain one. I gain one again. Okay, very nice. Yeah. Okay, we got it. Paul's dead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then our staff comes back to us. Yep. Then second main. Fortel means I need to pay two first, right? Yes. Pay two, I'll, play a, I'll set a trap which is a Fortel. Right, I'll pay two, fort I'll play the Mere Signet. P1, I'll play Wayfarer's Bobble. I just sack the Wayfarer's Bobble now. Okay. And then I'll get a land. Uh, Inset, Ragavan will return to my hand. Yep. And you draw a card because you're the winner. Turn this back to my hand and I'll draw a card. Yep. yep Let's yep, yep, go, yep, yep, Paul. Yep, 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 untap. Draw for turn. I will play Vault of Champ. No, that doesn't work out. I no longer <laughs> have two or more opponents. I'll play Swamp instead. See, it was a plan. Yes. It was all part of the all plan. All out. I will tap five. I will cast my commander, Cavaliano. Okay, because Cavaliano is two power, Welcoming Vampire will trigger and I will draw a card. All right. Interesting. It all started because Esmond didn't want to block the 4-4. Combat first. Welcoming Vampire swings at you, Hazim, for two. Okay. I'll take two. Noted. And this is now a, a demon vampire thingy. Yep. I will tap four and I will play a bloodline keeper. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a three three flyer. Makes vampires. Makes vampires. There okay. you go. Vampires. Draw. Paul just waiting to die. Dash in the Dash in the monkey. Dash in the monkey. Yep. 
You want to transform this first? The, the question is, do I transform? It's like, yeah, do I want should. to? Should. So, two life, transform this into Itali. So, Itali is an 11 11 Phyrexian dinosaur. Uh, move to combat, bring back Dire Fleet, Daredevil. Yep. Getting back your them. Okay. Then I'll pay two mana. Yep. To damn your Bloodline Keeper. Okay, Bloodline Keeper is damned. Yes. Yep. So, attack with the sure. team. Okay. Zara trigger when I attack. Yep. Can I see your hand? I have no creatures. Ooh, boy. I am forced to block Itali with Caval Cavalano. Yep. Yep. So in total, you're doing 23 damage okay. and getting 9 poison counters. Okay, that's why I'm down to 3 and 9 poison counters. Yep. Then trigger Ragavan. I get another treasure. Yep. And I get to exile the top card of your library and then we cast it, right? Okay. It is a blood tracker. Okay, it's exiled. Yep, it's exiled. Uh, you explore as well? Oh yeah, I explore also. Thanks for reminding me. The oh, Indomitable. Nice. Alright. Put it into the grave. Alrighty. The creature died as well, so both yep. will trigger. Okay. But yeah, they cancel each other. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you draw a card first, you have one. Oh, yep. Ragavan goes back to your hand. Oh. Too many missed triggers. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> okay, Paul. Paul! Paul. I'll draw for turn. I will play a Preacher of the Schism. Okay. It is a 2-4 creature. Therefore, Welcome mm -hmm. Vampire Trigger and I will draw a card. Yes. Alright. Die by poison. I knew he dies as a flyer. Is there anything nice. else I can do? But you did a lot, Paul. I, I will say that you did a lot. So. Uh, a lot more than the person sitting next to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am, I am dead. Alright, good game, good game. Looks uh, like I became the king of the pirates. Yeah. Yes. Ooh. You found, you the, found one the one piece. piece. <laughs> I found the one piece. And the one piece are the dead friends we lost along the way. Yes. Alright, so that was it for our uh, pre con upgrade uh, game. Number one. Mm -hmm. I blame Esmond. I blame... No, I congratulate Hazim. I thank Esmond for making the deck. So our next game, we are going to film four members. Hazim will get to pick first. Ooh. If you want to check out the next game, please go check out the links below. YouTube members, go and subscribe, uh, join it. You get perks, bonus episodes, and get notified of when our deck boxes are ready for sale. Great. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Adios. Bye-bye.